Exciting! Look what turned up today, my motorcycle ramp. I hope it's not that wide, because if it is, I'm going to have to get a wide vehicle sticker. As usual, it's a game of pass the parcel. A box within a box. Bloody irritates me. Won't be needing them then. Well, step one requires a piece of cardboard, so maybe it's just as well I've got lots to choose from. Unfortunately, a little late because I've already laid it out on the floor. Well, I guess it is that wide, but it kind of fits. And I was worried about the back tyre getting in the way, the spare tyre there. Um, but I think that's going to be fine, actually. Yeah, so we're fully kitted up to go pick up bikes. As always, a few bits left over. No, these are just extra little bits that I'll boat on later. But this is going to work nicely. I've got the heavier weight one, so it's uh, limited to 600 pounds, I think. Um, so I won't be picking up any lard ass Harleys with it, but that's not on the horizon anyway. By the way, nowhere near enough washers, so note to supplier, less cardboard boxing and more washers, please. Not the most sophisticated method of diagnosis, but a very effective one. Um, I have been trying to locate the leak, uh, having established that I think it's one of the mounts for my guard and I put a bit of kitchen towel at the bottom one and that certainly stopped any leaks but then I moved it out a bit so it wasn't up against the guard and we got more leaks those three spots there then I've moved out to the top and pushed it in right up to the edge that seems to have stemmed the flow downwards so I think it's that top mount that has the leak I thought it was going to be the bottom one because that's more mangled that's where the actual damage to the radiator was um, but it appears to be the top one so that's good don't know what we're going to do about it but we've identified it really don't want to be taking the whole radiator off again um, so I might try some of that aluminium welding stick stuff. And that confirms it because I moved the, uh, the other flow stemming device higher and yeah, I don't know, let's cure it. How about that monkey man? Okay, so we're going to try and load this baby up on the ramp. Wish me luck. Well, that wasn't too hard work because uh, I've got a downhill driveway, so that's fairly easy even for a man of my physical capability. Obviously on the return trip, we would be parking the vehicle in the opposite direction to facilitate the same ease of getting it off. So actually that back tire there is, uh, the spare tire is a nice little resting point, honestly. Uh, it's a soft plastic cover and I don't know how you're supposed to keep the bike upright. But I kind of like the idea of strapping it against that to um, give it a little bit of cushioning. And these straps here are what you're supposed to use to strap it, which would be upright. Um, but I've additionally got this random ladder that I installed for no good reason apart from climbing on the roof to take photographs and I think that should all go quite well. So maybe I should strap it down and give it a go around the block.
think I might make that a little bit more secure for a longer journey, but strap on there through the ladder down to there. Another strap through the ladder onto the foot peg. And we've got another strap just on the two points. Well, actually, no, it's down there. I would also, that. on a longer journey, tighten up these bolts on that flippy floppy thing which secures the front wheel. But again, to this point, I'm not going to. Could go horribly wrong and months of work down the tube. Yeah, in fact, I'd definitely put one from this mount over through the wheel just to that mount or maybe through here somewhere but yeah on a longer trip that's what I shall do here goes nothing so far there is no horrible loud crashing sound from the back um, there's a little bump uh, we seem to have negotiated that all right um, now we're going up the hill as far as I'm aware, it's still on the back, which is good. Negotiating a man with a dog. Managed to avoid him. Managed to avoid a jeep. And oh, uphill. Now nah, it's going to fall off. If it's ever going to fall off, it's going to be now because we're going up a steep hill. I can't see shit because the sun's in my eyes. So far, so good. Check the belts when we get back. Oh, looking good. Uh, I must remember to pull into the driveway. Oh, bump. Um, thinking about it actually no I'm not going to reverse it in because I can just well it's still there um, I tightened up the belts a little bit when I got back um, so I shall make them tighter when I do the actual trip uh, but all good might need a little extra protection for the wheel cover yeah nice lovely jabbly Getting it off could be where it all goes horribly wrong. We shall see. Well, we made it, but only just, honestly. Uh, there was a couple of scary moments where gravity kicked in where it was not so helpful honestly. The issues was that the bolt that I'd used to secure the fuel tank had actually popped through the mount as you can see um, so I was more worried about the fuel tank flopping off. The other strangely was that the brakes were woefully inadequate um, there's plenty of little fluid in there so I don't see what the problem is um, but thankfully my runaway bike is a lot lighter than it used to be so I managed to keep it upright and stop it just in time. Well, that's in one piece. That's in one piece. And this is in one piece. Kinda. So um, I would say that was quite successful really. Uh, very confident in the new ramp and I will be using it to deliver this to Derek after all probably. Um, and pick up whatever I next get, which won't be a Suzuki GS1000 because that's sold, unfortunately. But it might be a Ducati Monster. That would be cool. Though I am wondering why you're not allowed to stand on it as a human being if the load capacity is 600 pounds. I know some big guys, but I don't think any of them are 600 pounds. Anyway, as you can tell, I put all that shit on back to front. And why not? So the belly pan turned up today, and um, I've got 10 minutes to see whether it'll fit or not before Derek turns up to pick up the bike. 
Um, I don't think it's going to work as a belly pan, but it might work as that fairing thing. Potentially useful framing device as well, actually. Um, I'm sure that would come in handy for something at some point. Yeah, clean it up first, I suppose. Probably not what we're looking for. Um, maybe a little bit more upright. It might ping off. Maybe something like that. Cut short, of course. What's that look like from the other side? Maybe something like that. Well, we could actually cut rings out. Obviously not with these big flappy bits that I'm holding on to. It'd actually be cut a lot shorter. But at that point, it's not covering up the bit I wanted to cover up. So, let's put a little screen in there. A little bit of perspex. I think I'm going to chop those two front bits off to start with. And try Maybe that. Maybe something like that. But without that bit. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just messing around exploring things because people didn't turn up to pick my bike up to go and fix it again. Well, I've also been reconsidering uh, refitting the chain guard. Had to make some little mods to it, um, cutting out the section that fitted in uh, flush here because obviously my back light is now there. Um, if only because um, I like that little white flash. I painted it white, um, ties in with the fuel tank, etc. Um, and, you know, it's it's a safety thing as well. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, I kind of like the bike without it as well. That looks uh, purposeful and mean. But, um, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Derek turned up eventually several days or weeks later, I forget now. Anyway, let's hope we can get it started. Well, that was Derek and Co. So hopefully he'll find out what it is. Hopefully it'll be something really simple, like a relay. Having a bit of a tidy up actually, because the Augusta's gone temporarily and uh, making room for something new. Uh, no, it's not the Stratus, the Stratus isn't ready, uh, and actually it's not a vehicle, but it is quite exciting. Even gave the Bel Air a bit of a clean, can you tell? Yeah, not really, but that's my idea of a clean. Shiny wheels. So that's basically where the Stratus will come to. Uh, compared to the Bella. Hmm, loads of room. And obviously over here, um, loads more room. Uh, although, of course, the MV will be back. It's whether the Ducati stays, honestly. If the Ducati doesn't stay, then that can go in the corner. So while I've got the tape measure out, because um, this has been bothering me for a while, uh, because I haven't got new wheels for the front of the Bel Air, um, it kind of looks like it's going uphill, doesn't it, right? Um, but actually, honestly, I remember now, it was the, uh, it was the top line, so it's basically 34-ish. It's basically 34-ish. So it really isn't going uphill, it just kind of looks like it. Yeah. Um, however, it would look much better if it was angled down, much more purposeful. So what we need is some more center lines and, um, notice how clean those wheels are now? Lovely. 
Um, yeah, more center lines and low profile tires on the front and that will bring it down a little bit. I should start a GoFundMe. So what I have coming is going to fit right there, right where the recycling is. Um, yeah. Anyone guess what it is? Oh, I think there's enough rambling for one episode. Um, more about trailers and ramps and things than anything else. Anyway, it's a means to an end. And even if Derek did come in and finally collect the bike, uh, it's a useful piece of kit to have. And I may well be collecting something on it soon. If not the MV Augusta. Back from Derek, it could be something else. A new project. And just in case you spotted that and were wondering, So thanks for watching again and um, do tune in next week. We'll, I don't know what we'll be doing next week. I haven't really checked the calendar and everybody else is All kinds of stuff that needs doing on the race car. Uh, obviously a lot of progress needs to be made on the Stratos, which is frustratingly slow at the moment. Um, keep you posted. Tune in again, do subscribe, encourage others to watch my lunacy.